going to be starting a new game called Blackwell Legacy and that's basically because I literally... Uh, I can't record anything that's not a point and click game because it's still all laggy and I have no idea how the heck to actually fix that so if anyone does please tell me because why? Like I didn't change any settings in OBS so I have no idea why it's doing that but yeah point and click games are only games apparently for me for now so yeah uh, the Blackwell Legacy was one of the few games that I still own that I haven't played on this channel that are actually point and click games so yeah apparently we are playing as this girl and Um, sir. Our only relative has just died. So we are starting on a high note. <laughs> so, I guess this is it. Years of watching and waiting and hoping, and it comes down to this. Do I love you? Do I miss you? I don't know for sure, I hardly know you. But you're the closest thing to family I've got, and I suppose that's something. Goodbye, auntie. She was in coma for 20 years, but I have no idea Wherever you are. how that happened. But now we have no one. That was weird. Slightly weird. But yet, watch it. Our games presents a game by day. Starring Rebecca Whitaker, a something. So I think there's five games in the series. I own three at the moment. If this is good and people like it, I'll probably play all five of them at some point. Especially since. If I can't fix things, that's all I can do. What a morning. At least I'm home now. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know how to interact with objects. There are bars over the windows. I'm not getting in that way. What? That, that would have been fun. Hi there. Uh, hi? So who are you visiting today? Excuse me? Oh. Ha ha. Seriously, who are you here to see? Can't let you in unless you tell me. Um, I live here? No, you don't. I know everybody in the building. I don't know you. Really? I live here. Nice try. I know everyone in this building, and I don't know you. Sorry. I've lived here for five years. Then how come I've never seen you before? I have no idea. Doesn't matter. If you lived here, I'd know you. That's all there is to it. Hi. Who the hell are you? Jim Birdo. All right, Jim. Where's the regular doorman? Geez, where have you been? He's on strike. He's what? Strike. All the building servicemen in the city are doing. Union rules or something. I stepped in to help because I know everybody. How come nobody told me? Notices were posted all over the building. I put them up myself. If you lived here, you'd have seen them. Who pays attention to things like that? Well, that's not my problem. Right. Please, I've had a really tough morning. I need to get home. Sorry, lady. Rules are rules. Ugh. Listen, I really live here. Fourth floor, number 4E. 4E? Hmm. Isn't that apartment empty? No! I live there, and I want to go there. Thank you very much. Oh. Hmm. Maybe you're telling the truth. He sees reason. Thank God. Do you have any ID? A driver's license or something? Yes. I have a driver's license. It's upstairs. In my desk drawer. Crap. <laughs> Come on, this is New York. Who actually drives? True, but I still can't let you in unless you prove you live here. For crying out loud. Okay, I have no ID, and you don't know me. What can I do to prove that I live here? Hmm. Well, can anyone in the building vouch for you? I'm not sure. I mean, I don't really know anybody here. How long have you lived here again? Be quiet. Not all of us are social butterflies. Okay, whatever. What about Nishanti Charma? He could vouch for you. Mm. How long is the strike going to last? I don't know. Could be a couple hours or a couple days. Depend on whether they reach a settlement or not. 
I don't know the details. Who is this Nis... Uh, Nish? Nishanti. Nishanti Sharma. He lives in 4F. You know, right next door to 4E. You really don't get out much, do you? Your point. Nothing, but I'm sure she could vouch for you. Great, call her up. She's not here. Of course she isn't. So I gotta wait here all day for her. You might have to. Although, he usually goes to Washington Square Park in the morning. You can look for her there. Fine. I'll be back. See you around. So we have a, we have a letter. Oh, come on. Dr. Donald Quentin, Bellevue Medical Hospital, New York. Miss Blackwell, my name is Dr. Donald Quentin and I was your aunt's primary care physician here at Bellevue Hospital. I have seen your aunt's needs since she arrived here 20, 25 years ago. Please accept my heartfelt condolences from your loss. Feel free to visit my office at any time. I'm sure we have much to discuss. Right. Um, there we go. So I guess we are going to the park for now. Washington Square. It's been a while since I've been here. It still looks the same, I guess. Although the dog park is empty, I wonder why. Please note, dog walking park is closed until further notice. Hmm. I wonder why. The dog park is empty. There's no reason to go in there. Um... Mm. Now I'm getting a stress headache. I need to get home. Oh, You can't get home. The woman... <gasps> I don't Look. think so. Oh. That's her. I recognize her from my building. Nishanti Sharma, was it? This is gonna be awkward. No, I don't. I'm not untying the dog's leash. Nishanti would kill me. Hello. Uh, excuse? I can't do it. I can't just barge up to her. Not in front of all those people. They're all staring. No. I mean, that's how I would feel, so not going to fold for fold right. her for that here i go um um uh no oh okay that didn't go so well i just need to work myself up to it right can i, I don't think so no. okay you can do this right um crap calm down need to calm down Right. I don't think I have anything to calm down with, though. Right. This is it. Hi. Um... Can I... Damn it. This is not working. I can't do this. I just can't. Oh. So what the hell am I supposed to be doing here? There's absolutely nothing here. He's wearing one of those extendable leashes. Sure. He's adorable. The dog's leash is tied to the trash can. Right. I'm not untying the dog's leash. I wasn't. Oh, trying That's Nishanti Sharma. My next door neighbor, apparently. She's playing some sort of flute. Exactly. But... Oh, God. Can't really see anything else to do. No. I can't do this. I just... I'll just have to wait until she's finished. I can't do this with all this... But this is fun. Because... What? the freaking hell are the other options? 
The dog's leash is... He's wearing one of the... Am I supposed to give something to the dog? Right, um... How about I visit the freaking... Hospital... Thing... Because this isn't working out at all. Psychiatric hospital. Oh great, it's not spooky at all. Looks like an internal phone. For paging doctors or patients, I guess. I don't have anyone to call. Mm. Locked. Whatever's back there, I can't get to it. Looks like a fuse box. Judging by the flickering lights, it must be broken. You need a key to open it. Okay. I'm not stealing stuff from the hospital. <laughs> Some kind of motivational poster. It says that this floor is undergoing renovations. That explains a lot. Oh, okay. Um, there's keys there. Just a small transistor radio. I don't think so. Right. It's the security guard for the hospital. What's with the lights? Hey, old buildings, you know? Always got problems. If the plumbing ain't broken, the lights are on the blink. It's giving me a headache, let me tell you. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Did you have contact with Lauren Blackwell while she was here? Nope. Doesn't ring a bell. She was in uh, temporary care? No, she was in long term. That's a whole different floor. This is the floor for temp patients. I see. Right. So what exactly happens here on the temporary ward? It's just that. Temporary. Most insurance plans only cover a two-week stay, so this floor is designed for a high turnover rate. That's why the doctor's offices are usually down here. They need to be on hand when new patients arrive. Okay. I'm here to see Dr. Quentin. Uh-huh. Is he expecting you? I've got this letter right here. Okay. Looks legit. Go right in. His name's on the door. You can't miss it. Thanks. Uh, somehow I need to get to that key. Probably. Come in. Dr. Quentin? Yes. He looks so familiar. Oh, hello. Come in, come in. Like an actor or something. You got my letter, I trust. Yes, I did. Good, good. My condolences on the loss of your mother. Thanks, but she was my aunt, not my mother. Ah, quite right, quite right. So you wanted to talk to me about something? Yes. Yes, I did. But before we go into that, how are you holding up? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm awesome. Just having a really bad morning. Oh? It's... I'll get over it. Just some stuff I have to deal with. You received the ashes? Yes. I scattered them this morning. I imagine you must miss her. Bad on my response. To be honest, I'm not sure what to feel. It's not like I knew her. Or even remember her from before. She's like a stranger. So why did you make it a point of visiting her all those years? She's family. She was the only family I had. I guess I felt an obligation like I had to. And now that you don't have to? What do you want me to say? Auntie's dead. Life goes on. So you'll just keep living, is that it? Yes. Keep writing your little book reviews in the paper, right? Uh, you know about those? It's hardly a secret. A number of the staff have read them, yes. I didn't think a West Village paper would interest anyone up here. I have to be honest, Miss Blackwell. The staff read them because they were more interested in you. Right. Oh? Their intentions were purely benign, I assure you. It was your aunt they were primarily interested in. They wanted to know more about her family, and you proved to be, hmm, shall we say, less than eager to comply? That's their problem. <laughs> Indeed. It was your choice to make. Your aunt was an interesting case. And now that she's gone, I was hoping you'd be more forthcoming with her. 
Just an informal chat. We can discuss her condition. And yours too, of course. What about my condition? What the hell? You never could find out what was wrong with her, huh? No, we didn't. But she still remains a fascinating case. Fascinating? I don't understand. Forgive me. I speak from a purely professional perspective. I didn't know your aunt personally. Neither did I. But fascinating? It might come as a surprise to you, but yes. But she was practically catatonic. All she did was lie there for 20 years. She'd sometimes twitch or mumble something incoherent, but I wouldn't call that fascinating. Well, as you know, she wasn't exactly catatonic. We kept her sedated. Right. She had outbursts. Yes, and we had to sedate her heavily to keep her calm, especially uh -huh. in preparation for your visits. What are you trying to say? Miss Blackwell, we are not a nursing home. We're not content to merely keep a patient comfortable. We are, after all, in the healing profession. We were trying to heal your aunt, and to do that, we had to speak to her. Wait, you spoke to Auntie? We tried to. Did she answer back? After a fashion, yes. If Auntie spoke, why wasn't I told? Miss Blackwell, do you remember what brought your aunt here in the first place? Her screaming? Her hitting herself? I was only five years old at the time, but I kind of remember. In order to prevent her from doing harm to herself or to others, we were forced to sedate her. When we limited her medication, she simply reverted to her former state. Her natural state, I'm sorry to add. What did Auntie say? Nothing that made any sense. But one thing was clear. She was in great pain. Pain? What kind of pain? It's difficult to say, but it was immense. How immense? When we reduced her medication, the transformation was dramatic. Her eyes flew open. She thrashed. Her screams, well... For we had sake. to gag her eventually. Oh my god. I know. Did she still feel it when she was sedated? We don't know. There's no way of knowing. 25 years. I know. Poor auntie. Yeah, that's slightly horrible, isn't it? Wait, what do you mean by my condition? Hereditary dementia is my specialty, Miss Blackwell. And in my opinion, there is significant cause for concern. Sorry, did you say hereditary? Yes, two generations. Your aunt, and your grandmother before her. My grandmother? Yes, Patricia, I think her name was, right? I never knew my grandmother. Auntie Lauren was it, there was nobody else. She couldn't exactly provide me with a family history. Oh, I see. I had no idea. Well, maybe you should have. Did anyone else come in to visit her besides me? No, you are correct. I should have read the family history more carefully. I do apologize, I just assumed. Well, never mind. It doesn't change the fact that you should be concerned as well. Go on. Patricia Blackwell suffered her mental collapse at the age of 55. Lauren Blackwell underwent hers at the age of 40. What are you saying? That the same thing is going to happen to me? No. I'm saying that there is significant cause for concern. Hmm. So, I had a grandmother. Apparently so. How do you know about her? It was in your aunt's case history when she was brought to us. Patricia Blackwell's symptoms were the same, word for word. Patricia's case was severe, and she was young, but it was chalked up to being an ordinary case of dementia. Until... Until it struck her daughter. Until 20 years later, when it struck her daughter, yes. It seems impossible. Perhaps it's genetic, but we've detected no abnormality. Right. You couldn't find any other link between the two cases? None. Aside from the family connection. And a name. A name? What name? The documentation we had on your grandmother is minimal, but there was one interesting item noted. During her more lucid moments, she uttered the name Joey. Your aunt, too, would cry out that name on occasion. Joey? Yes. Who's Joey? We've been wondering the same thing for 25 years. What in the world? So what should I do? Right now? Nothing. This type of thing is unprecedented. There is no procedure to go through, no medication I can give you. I just want you to be aware, is all. And come talk to me if, well, there's any concern. Right. Is there anything else you need to tell me before I go? 
your aunt had some personal effects in storage. As the next of kin, you're the beneficiary. It's just a folder, some documents and so on. It's being sent to your address via messenger. Oh, well, thanks for that. It's no problem at all. Goodbye, Miss Blackwell. My schedule is fairly open now, so feel free to drop in any time. I'm always happy to discuss my favorite patient. Sure. Yeah, that's not weird at all. Nothing to be concerned about. I don't need... Oh, right, I don't have the letter either. Um... Whoa! Hold on there. You want to go in, I gotta clear you first. Right. Just a small transistor radio. I don't think so. So... Some small keys. One of them is labeled FB. I assume that means fuse box. Yep. I don't think I need any... Well, you do. You just don't Thanks. know it. Uh -huh. I'm not steal. Uh, <laughs> it says that this floor is not Right. I guess I'm just gonna go. For now, because... Can't say I know what to do. Um... Is there anything we can freaking do here? Hello, Doki. So I guess not. No. I can't. Right. I'll just have to wait. I can't do the. Yeah, I'll slide the last right now. Reach. Stop, Ox. Please go. Please go home. Let's try at least. <sighs> Hello again. I have my apartment key. Will that do? Sorry, no. That could be any <sighs> key. Well, let's go upstairs and see if it works. And leave the door unattended? Can't do it. Sorry. Out of my way. I'm going in. I wouldn't do that. Why? Are you going to stop me? Me? No. But I've got a cell phone in my pocket with 911 program in. All I have to do is hit send and the cops will be here in five minutes. Are you serious? Totally serious. I don't believe this. Ugh. So, let me get this straight. You want me to go all the way to the park to look for a woman who might be there, and if she recognizes me, then, and only then, I'll be granted the privilege of entering my own home? That's yeah, pretty much it, yeah. This is really stupid. I'm not the one who forgot my ID. Ugh. I'll be back. See you around. Can I go? This way? Clearly not. There are bars over the wind. The windows look into the lobby of the building. So near, and yet so far. I've never seen this kid before in my life. Okay. Yeah, I have no freaking clue what I'm supposed to be doing because I can't see anything I can pick up. She won't talk to the person. The dog park is in. There's no. Pl hmm. Please note, dog. Hmm. Please note. Hmm. Please note. Hmm. Nice, nothing. The dog park is in. The dog park. There's no re. That's all there is. Ugh. Just. Do I have to use help? I mean. I don't want to come in the remote. Me. I don't think so. He's wearing one of those. Sir. 
this. I'm not untying the dog. The dog's leash is. That's an Ashanti. My neck, she's playing. And I can't go this way. No. I can't. I'll just. I can't. Really? I'm not on top. I don't know. There's absolutely nothing here. This is so sad, I can't even get home because I don't understand what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. I g what else is there? Can't even sit on the freaking bench. I don't have looks like an internal phone. The sign says I'm locked. What you need a key looks like a few judging by See like uh, Is there a way to trigger another place to go to some kind of I'm not stealing. I'm not. I'm not. It says that. <laughs> I don't think so. Thanks. Uh huh. It's the secure. Thanks. Uh huh. Well, and that's the only thing. I don't think I. Some small. One of them is labeled FB. Right. Well, whoa, hold on. I know, you but you're not clearing me, so. Someone needs to tell me what in the freaking hell I'm supposed to be doing. I don't have it. Because I don't understand any of this crap. So yeah, if anyone knows what to do here, please leave a comment below. Uh, if you like this and would like to see more, please click like and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye bye!